Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. New project car day. I'm on my way to Copart. I've won a 1985 Volkswagen T25 um, camper van. A bit unsure on the condition. The um, description on Copart says engine won't start, barely turns over. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that mean the en means the engine does turn over. Um, and it's just an electrical problem, but uh, it might not be. Um, I haven't had much luck from Copart, so it could be it could be something quite serious. Fingers crossed it isn't. Um, got the trailer on the back, on the way there now. Be there in a couple of minutes. Um, here's a couple of photos of the car from Copart. Uh, interior looks terrible. I don't know what's gone on there. Um, all the cabinets are sort of hanging off and they've been covered with something um, and there's a leopard print sort of I don't know anyway I'm on my way there now I'll be there in a minute I'll see you there I just got back it's pretty late um, <clears throat> I want to try and get it off the trailer I've got to sort this wheel out um, it's not gonna roll like that is it that tire is completely flat I'm, not, I'm gonna try pumping that up and then put a boost pack on it and see if it starts there's a lot of metallic in this paint though this brown I don't know if you can see that on the camera it's quite actually quite a nice color I thought it was hideous at first but it's actually quite nice anyway yeah, see if we can pump that up. Oh, it's not holding any pressure whatsoever. All right, I'm going to see what happens when I actually turn the key. Actually, it's going to be that one. Steering lock's on. Nope. Okay. The lights come on. Mm, doesn't turn over very well. I'm gonna put a jump pack on here, on this battery. See if that makes a difference. All right, I've got the jump pack on the battery. See what happens now. Turns over a bit weirdly. Let's try and turn the, that on. I think it's somewhere else if we can. Find a better earth. Try that. So here's the engine. I just turned it over with a socket and it actually turns over really fine. Why is that exhaust manifold not on? That's worrying. That means it's been into a mechanic or something. Yeah. Hmm, this is worrying. Fill it with brake fluid. Let's see if it starts. I doubt it. It's definitely a power problem. Really, it keeps sparking down here. 
I don't think it's got good enough earth. Oh shit. Well, it ran. Try that again. All right, so here it is in the daylight. I've had a good go at the um, carburetor already, just trying to get it to idle a bit better. I'm really struggling with it. I'm gonna order a rebuild kit, because it um, it seems to idle really, really high, and then when the choke turns off, it just won't idle at all. And I'm, I know these Pierbergs have a multitude of problems, so uh, I'm just gonna get rebuild kit, rebuild it, blow it all up with an airline. I've also ordered some valve adjustment screws for this side because they're all quite loose and I think that's where all the tapping noises are coming from. I'm going to replace those. That side seems fine. I should really do both. So this is the inside. It's got this lovely leopard print bedding. Um, I'm not sure how any of it goes yet. Basically, I'll show you. Hang on. The car itself is fairly solid. Um, it seems to be sort of I wouldn't say rust free, but it's not very rusty. It's got a lot of surface rust in areas. Do you think the original colour was this beige colour all the way around? Because I can see here, it looks like it's been painted with the brown on the bottom. So basically, what's happened here is this skylight up here was open, and it's been open for a while by the looks of it. And there's a hole sort of here in this material. And water's just been getting in the interior. And all of the wood has sort of swollen and cracked and gone damp. So basically most of the... I think the actual shelving... Most of the shelving units are kind of okay, but the doors are all swollen. There's a weird little fridge thing in here. Um... There's a table missing, because there used to be a table down there. Now it's just a hole in the floor. But yeah, I think the whole thing needs to come out and be dried, properly dried out. But you've got a little cooker in here, which is pretty cool. A little sink in there, and another little sink in there. So I think what I'm going to do now is I've noticed that this wheel is pretty much destroyed. Me driving on it probably didn't help. But there is the original spare, by the looks of things, in the front. So I'm going to take that out, put it on here, hopefully. Then we can move this thing around. Let's have a quick look around the front. It's not too bad. It just it does have it just has lots of little bits like this. Where there's a bit of surface rust that's appeared and someone's sort of scraped it back and filled it with paint. Which we'll need addressing at some point, but I don't think that's going to be my problem. That'll be the next owner's problem. But yeah, I'm going to whip the spare off, which is under there. And um, fingers crossed, it's in good condition. <laughs> an old tire. I don't know if it tells you the year. If anyone knows the year, 
of this tyre. Let me know. I don't know if these give it away. These numbers here. But yeah, it's got air in it. It actually feels alright. Jack the car up, get that on it, and then we can move this thing around. This gives me a good chance to look in here and see how bad things are. To be fair, it looks pretty solid. The uh, frame rails are really, really solid. Nothing on those at all. The um, suspension looks all good. It's got bits of surface rust on it. Brakes look okay. These pads are new. These discs feel good. They've got a lot of um, surface rust on them, but they uh, all look good. All the rubbers are good. Yeah. Looks fairly solid this side. Had a new brake line there by the looks of things recently. Fairly recent brake hose too. Looks like it's been cared for, which is uh, the most important thing. Let's whip this wheel on. Whilst doing the um, fiddling with the carburetor, I noticed this uh, water line's been leaking here can't quite see it but around that gap it's been leaking there so I'm just going to replace that so I've pieced together the interior the best I think it can go together um, found all these bits of wood and everything in the back it's, it's pretty bad to be fair it's in bad shape it, I would replace all of the cupboard doors if I was ever going to use this. To be fair, that's mainly all of the cupboard doors and whatever's going on in this roof here needs fixing. I can't actually get the roof up, I don't know why. I think I'm missing something. I'm going to have another go at it in a minute, but I'm just going to give it a hoover. If anybody knows what these um, letters mean from Copart, I've looked it up before, but I couldn't really gather from them. Everyone says they mean different things, but yeah, if anyone knows what those actually mean, I, I thought N would meant non-runner, but that's about all I knew. I don't, might actually be wrong, but yeah, let me know if you know what they are. Alright, so it's been a few days since I cleaned the car. Um, here's some pictures of it after I cleaned it. Looks pretty good. It's pretty straight, this car. It's, um, yeah, there's minimal rust on it, and um, the front seats are really good condition, and also the pedals. The mileage on the van, I think, was 30,000 or something, but I, I don't know if it had been around the clock or anything because I didn't have much paperwork with it. I had every MOT dating back to its first digital one, and I had it all in, in a book. I think I had I had about 15 MOTs and they actually they did 
corroborate the um, the mileage. So it could have been genuine mileage, but I'm not sure because then there's like 10 years of MOTs that I didn't have. So it could have, I mean, it's quite likely that it got up to 100,000 miles within its first 10 years. A lot of cars do. So, And then the last 30 was just when it went over the clock is what I reckon happened. But anyway, yeah, the interior in the back needs stripping big time. The roof is the main problem with the car. Basically, the main problem with the car is that the roof is leaking and that needs fixed i can't get the roof up it either needs taken off fixed or replaced but anyway i changed um some of the tappets well not tap the valve adjustment screws on the side that was making a tapping noise here's what it sounds like after that Yeah, sounds sounds pretty good. Uh, no noise at all. Ran really well. I, I cleaned out, took the carburetor off, and just blasted it all through with an airline just to get all the bits of rubbish and stuff out of it. Put an inline filter in, and it ran absolutely perfectly. To be honest, started on the button every time. I don't know what was going on with the um, ground issue at the beginning. I took the battery out, cleaned up all the connections, and plugged the battery back in properly, and that all just went away. So I assume it was just not fitted correctly, or there was just a bad earth somewhere. All right. So um, you're probably wondering what I paid for this car. I won the auction at Copart for £475. Bearing in mind it was a non-runner. I think all in all, including fees, that came to about £700. I think just below £700. Um, I went to go get the car, which obviously cost me 50 quid in fuel or something. It wasn't that far away. About 750 quid it cost me in total to pick up the, to get this car. The valve adjustment screws are a few pounds each. That's it. That's all I spent on it, to be honest with you. It's just time cleaning out the car, and it wasn't even that much. So it was about three days worth of work cleaning it up and piecing it back together. But yes, I put it up on the internet straight after I cleaned it. Put it up on the internet for two thousand pounds, and the next day it sold for eighteen hundred. Um, I probably could have got more for it, but I'm pretty chuffed with that. Um, yeah, so that's about just over a thousand pounds profit, which is fantastic. I've already bought a couple more things, which are going to be in the next video. Um, with that money, uh, I'm hopefully going to buy. I'm hopefully buying another car that I can make money on, and another car for me to hopefully tow my other, tow my trailer around and pick up more cars. And then we can do this more and more, hopefully, and I can buy more and more projects. Hopefully, I want to buy more Porsches and stuff like that. I really want to get more 944s again, and um, I don't even think I've had a 944 on this channel. I've had. I think I've owned six of them in total, and I've never had one on the channel, which is madness. I had the 924, which is fantastic. Go back and look at that if you want to look at that. But yeah, I'd rather have a 944. I want to get one of those on the channel. Or a 928. I had one of those Went in the past. Yes. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.